Hey guys, what's up? In the previous videos, we produced some daytime simulations. And now I would like to render a nighttime scene. I'm using here the same original file with my Villa Savoie model. So I will start the process all over again. And first of all, I will start Enscape. So I'll click here. Okay, I will also check if my views are synchronized and they are. I can increase a little bit this window and I'll start opening the visual settings. I'll place it over here and I'll choose the white style so that I have once more the material override and I can have a better understanding of what's going on with the lighting. And normally when I set up nighttime simulations, I try to explore some nice blue tones. So if we take a look at some references, we can notice that normally in nighttime, we still have a blue sky. And of course we don't have the projection of the sun. So we have a very blue shadow. And in most cases, we have very interesting artificial lights producing a nice contrast between yellow and blue. So usually when I set up my scenes, I try to use artificial lights, but I try to keep this blue tone in the shadows. And the procedure to render nighttime images is very similar to the previous ones. So first of all, I will close this window here. I can move this window to the center and I will once again start playing around with the time and the date sliders. So as we drag the sliders to the left or to the right and we search for really early periods or really late times here, we start producing some interesting effects that start to resemble nighttime. We can also play around here with the date until we find some interesting results. And aside from dragging the sliders, we can also type the values of the time right here. So for example, if I type three in the morning, of course we will have a very dark scene. So this is also one way to reach a nice effect. And after playing around with the slider and also testing some values here, I finally reached a nice image with the blue tone that I was looking for. And I actually used this combination here of values. So you can try something similar if you like. But of course the image is too bright. So the next step here is to open the visual settings and continue the edition there. So I'll click here. I'll rearrange my layout. And one first procedure here would be to change the exposure. So if we move the slider to the right, the image gets brighter. So I will move to the opposite side until I get a darker result. So maybe something around 20 or 30% will start to get a more interesting image. I think it's quite okay. We can also explore the other tabs, for example, here in image, we could increase the saturation if we would like to make this blue tone even more powerful. So maybe I can increase just a little bit. We could also play around with the color temperature to get a warmer or even colder result. So I'm starting to like our render. And of course, you can go on play around with all these effects. But now the most important procedure would be to start creating artificial light. So in the end, we will have a nice combination of yellow and blue colors. So I will close this window. I can move this render window to the right. And actually before creating the lights, my suggestion would be to update the scene. So we can right click up here, choose the option update. So now the information about the time and date is saved. And if we by chance make any changes in the camera view, for example, and we click here in the scene, we go back to this view with the correct time and date parameters. I would also suggest, since we are still not working with the view management, to save the file with a different name. For example, we can save it as Villa Savoie Night so that we have these parameters saved in a specific file, different from the previous one. 
So now I can create the artificial lights and to create lights here in Enscape, we have to click up here in the Enscape objects. And here you can see that we have different kinds of light and I will use this sphere one, which is a very simple light. So I'll click here and to place the sphere light in the scene, I have to click twice. So I will click here once and then we can choose actually where the light will be placed. So I will just click once again a little bit up in the blue axis. Okay. And we can see the result here. We could change the intensity up here, but I think it's quite okay. So I will basically close this window here. I will also decrease a little bit the size of my render. So now I can select this light and I can use the move tool to place it wherever I want. And I will basically move around my model and try this light in different positions to see the effects. I can put this light up here as if it were inside the Villa Savoie model. Of course, I am not following the original project here. I'm just testing the lights and we can already see a nice effect here. And now using my control key, I can make copies. I can maybe place another light here along the red axis. I can go on with my control key making copies so that I have more lights inside the Villa Savoie model. I'll maybe place a last one in the other side. Okay. Maybe I can also place a light down here in the ground floor. So maybe I can put one here. I can then make a copy and place another one in the other side. And actually, I think that we've reached an interesting result with a nice blue tone and some interesting artificial lights here. And now that we've placed the lights, we can once more open the visual settings. I'll place this window here. I can increase my render window once again. And of course, we can make some final adjustments considering the effect of the artificial lights. So we can change the exposure. We can also explore the highlights and the shadows if we like. We can play with the saturation once again and the color temperature. So feel free to make the adjustments that you like. And my suggestion would be to go to the sky tab and change this white ground to the forest one. So now we have a background similar to the previous simulations. And this is very important. And the most important thing here that we should do is to go back to the main tab and change our style to none. So now we can see the final result with the blue skylight and the artificial lights and we can make the final adjustments considering the final render. So we could, for example, change a little bit the exposure and once again play with the highlights and the shadows. But I'm quite happy with this result. Maybe I'll just make this image a little bit brighter so that it doesn't look too dark in certain outputs. And if we are happy with this result, we can produce our final render. So here we can click the save frame. So we'll have the exact size of the final image being displayed here. We have to increase our rendering quality so we have the best quality possible for the final image. I can check here the output and Full HD is okay for this test. And basically now I just have to hit the screenshot button up here. I will save this image as nighttime simulation. Okay, I'll choose the JPEG extension once again and I will save it in my computer. So now just after a few seconds, we have our final nighttime simulation. And of course, would be interesting to make the artificial light warmer and maybe make some other adjustments to the skylight. But for now, I'm quite happy with this result. And in the following video, I will show you how we can organize better our file using the view management so that we can have different simulations in one same file, which would be a very nice way of working with Enscape.